thanks Rectech for sponsoring this video. And here we have the star of today's show, the Japanese Wagyu A5 Destroyer. But that is not all. I'm also going to share with you two other contenders that will give a Japanese Wagyu A5 experience for a fraction of the price. You see, a Wagyu A5 from Japan can retail for as much as $600. Today, our Wagyu Destroyer is going to be as little as $10 per serving. You can really appreciate the marbling of this cut. It is a BMS 8 and 9 on the scale. And if you are unfamiliar with that, let me quickly explain. Marbling score can go from 0 to 12. And an A5 Wagyu must score anywhere between from 8 to 12. So in essence, this is an A5 Wagyu. We call this the Denver Steak. I'm only seasoning it with salt, pepper and garlic powder, nothing else. I run ahead and light up my grill and threw my steak in there. The key is to avoid it burning. But at the same time, we do want to get a crust. And the best way for me to avoid burning it is to rotate my grill, then immediately use a cold grate in order to get it perfectly seared. As in the end, your steak will be at the perfect temperature once you let it rest. I mean, take a look at how juicy this thing is. It is equal to a Japanese Wagyu A5 experience for a fraction of the price. To finish it up, I decided to go ahead and add some black flaky salt right on top. And I'll tell you one thing, this is incredible. And the best part, it's even cheaper than this one. It is also a Marbley Score 8-9 and it's known as the Deco Steak. Now this is phenomenal. It is almost identical to a Japanese Wagyu A5 ribeye. And for that reason, I'm going to keep it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Now to cook this one is pretty similar to the previous one. The key here is to avoid burning the steak. A little bit of flare-ups is okay. This will give a nice smoky flavor to it. Now in the end, I was left with this. Take a look. A nice pronounced char. That is the perfect way that I enjoyed this steak. You gotta remember one thing. This is extremely fatty. So you gotta make sure that you cook it properly. Because in the end, after letting it rest for 5 minutes, take a look at this. A nice beautiful char, perfectly cooked in the middle and as juicy as it gets. This is the deco steak my friends. Now if you're feeling fancy you can take this steak to another level and that's by making a very simple sauce. For that we just gotta throw a bunch of ingredients in the food processor. I started with cilantro followed by garlic, a pinch of salt, black pepper, cochucado which is Korean chili flakes and a tiny bit of mayo. Now you want to blend everything well until it's fully combined and your sauce is done. I'm telling you it does not get any easier than that. Pairing this up with the steak, it's just going to be perfect. And it's something you should definitely experience. But we're not done yet. This is the next one I would like to share with you. By far one of the most delicious pieces of meat you can ever experience. It has the perfect balance of everything. It's meaty and the intramuscular fat is superb. And at the same time, whenever you're cooking a picanha, keep it simple. I'm only adding salt, nothing else. I'm just going to let the salt penetrate deeply in there. And as that's happening, it's perfect because it allow me time to go ahead and make an awesome side dish. Just like the steaks, this one is super simple to make and at the same time very delicious. And here's how to do it. The first thing we need is to choose some type of cheese. I chose cream cheese. And since we're making this really simple, you also need a marinara sauce. One other thing I recommend is basil. This one you want to get it fresh. I just like to chop them up like this and they are now ready. Next up, you want to choose some type of meat. I went with salami. Choose anything you like because to assemble this is super simple. First, First, I threw in my cream cheese and spread it throughout the whole cast iron pan. Once that was done, I immediately went in with the marinara sauce, followed by the basil. Now spread everything well, as now it was time to add mozzarella cheese, a good amount. To give that extra pizza flavor, I went ahead and added some oregano right on top. You can have it just like this, but since a lot of my guys love meat, I went ahead and added the salami in one half. Now that this is ready, it is time for us to go ahead and take it outside to our smoker. And for that, I'm going to be using my Red Tech Bullseye. This grill is a dream come true for a few reasons. First, it smokes meats to perfection. That's why I'm using to cook this dip. It will reach 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. You can sear steaks like nothing. At the same time, it uses wood pellets to create an incredible flavor on your food. And I love how light and portable it is. And since it's a round shape, it feels familiar. And I love that I can turn it on from far away using my phone. This grill is awesome and it does the job well. But as my dip was cooking, I went ahead and wanted some type of of bread. For today, I chose ciabatta. I just sliced it up and added a good amount of olive oil right on top. 
because by this time, I immediately went outside and my dip was ready. Now take a look at this. It is as easy as it gets to make and if you enjoy pizza, you're gonna love this. At the same time, remember that we still gotta cook our Wagyu picanha. First, I'll be putting a nice beautiful sear. Once it's done, I'll finish it off cooking it in indirect heat until it reaches 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to cook this beautiful steak, so let's do it. everybody and here we got our beautiful steak what do you guys think gentlemen this is my favorite kind of video right here when the table is full of food oh do you don't care what it is as long as it's full no, no no as long as i get to eat a lot my soul and my belly are happy all right so we got a little experiment going on right here okay i'm pretty sure all steaks are going to be delicious but i want you guys to really try to describe the flavor the audience might have never tried these steaks before neither have you guys None oh. of them. These kinds of steaks are very, very unique. And I'm curious to see what you think. Now you're making me interested. Yo, Google, what's going on with these steaks? They look a little black. That's black salt. Black salt. And this one, we got a little special sauce here. And this one's straight up, nothing special but salt. That's how special this one is. Okay, enough talking, let's go. This direction. Please dig in, gentlemen. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Ooh. Oh. The only thing that's throwing me off is there's like this black salt. I already said it, bro. It's black yeah. salt. It looks different, but it tastes the same. Like it doesn't really add any difference. It just adds salt. Huge fan of the flavor of this beef, I must say. It has a very unique taste, a nice lingering aftertaste too that's very delightful, very pleasant. That's a great start. I agree. That is phenomenal. And the best part is not that expensive. Really? Not that expensive at all, everybody. This is something you definitely should have on your arsenal, AKA freezer, because it is fantastic, inexpensive, and it leaves a nice, wonderful taste in your mouth. That's Let's delicious. give this one a go. I'll bring it to you first. Now this okay. one, we got a little sauce going on over here. This sauce look a little green for me, bro. A little too green for you, but you, you, you say you becoming an adult. Now you like greens. I was lying. Oh man. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Dude, that sauce is fantastic. So much flavor on that, so much depth. It tastes a little bit garlicky. It's a lot of savoriness, very creamy. It pairs with the steak so well. I love that. Listen, man, this steak is amazing. Mmm. the sauce. This steak is really good. Extremely juicy, it really yeah. is extremely tasty, and it has a really good crust. The only difference I'm seeing between these two is this one will just melt in your mouth, mm. and then this one is literally like, you're able to chew it and enjoy the flavors a little longer. With that being said, I got a little side dish for us today, everybody. Now, this side dish is quite interesting. Grab a piece of bread. I was about to say, I'm very confused. Do I reach for the bread? Do I reach for the- Reach the bread, and then you just dip. Well, what about this? They got salami Just in dip. Here. Oh man, look at how cheesy and creamy this is. I can't wait. Dude, look at that cheese, bro, what? Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, bro, this tastes like a pizza. Pizza? That is a pizza dipping sauce. Man, I cannot speak more highly about this side dish. I love the different textures that you get with the soft bread, crumbly, creamy cheese. I really love the hints of smokiness that you get from the side dish too. You can really feel that flavor on top of everything else it has. Really nice. From the bread all the way to the salami on top. It's so good. Very easy side dish to make, but enough. All right, now let's go try this one here. I'm really curious. Go in, dig in. This looks a little familiar right no, here. No, I don't look familiar. No, 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 no. no. You never had this in your life. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I know what this is. What do you mean, bro? What do you mean? I don't know. That's pretty iconic right there. The little fat on the end right there. The little tip. Wait, what? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. oh, man. Charcoal, salt, 
Piganha. I implore for you to give this a try, everybody. I'm telling you, if you never try the Wagyu steak, let this one be the first one you try because I promise you, you will never forget. That's how good it is. What do you think, Leo? I, I feel like you've converted me onto Team Picanha because <laughs> I didn't used to like it so much, but now after trying it, it honestly, guys, is such a perfect steak. It has an amazing balance of fattiness and just lean, delicious, beefy meat. It is, I can't say any, any other way. It's amazing. That's why she's the queen, bro. Look, I agree. Fatty, got a cap of fat. It's, it's like a crown, bro. With that being said, Picanha is the most expensive out of these Wagyu's today, okay? And is it fair to say that she's better too? Yeah, I think she's the queen. But let me ask you a question. Even though these are too inexpensive, which one would be your favorite out of these two? I would love to know. Out of these two steaks, I definitely prefer the one with the sauce. The one, that, what about you? I'm gonna go with this one with the black salt. That one is just melt in your mouth. It's just really good. Shout out to my brother Emilio and Grand Western Steak for providing these incredible pieces of meat. They are delicious, everybody. And they are extremely affordable Wagyu's, everybody. And you should definitely give it a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.